Welcome to another video, The One Good Road here. So it's been a while since I've done any product reviews and uh, I thought I'd, I'd show you this new bag that's come from Decathlon. This is the 4Class 50 liter backpack. I've had this bag for about a week or two weeks or so and I wanted to give you a bit of an overview and my thoughts so far about what I think of the bag and then later on I might get into a review. Uh, because I, I think these, this is quite useful to anyone else who might be looking at this type of bag. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with the pros and then we'll mention some of the cons that I've noticed so far with owning it. Before even buying the bag, I just noticed that there were a couple of odd quirks about the bag. But let's, let's just start and get into it. So basically the bag is like really budget friendly. It's 40 euros from Decathlon. I, gave, I even bought this bag for 35 euros on promotion. Um, there's a couple of weird quirks, I'll get into that in a minute, but um, the pros is the price, for sure. Um, 50 liters for this price, um, and with such a neutral color scheme, I've also noticed that. I, I find that just great, you know, for the money. Uh, you really are getting quite a bit uh, for your money's worth, I would say. Let's get into it. So basically, I've noticed let, let's let's go through some of the pros. So the pros are, I've noticed there's this little handle on the top here, on the top of the bag, and I find that really handy. So if you're if you're on a train or if you're going by car somewhere or taking a plane, it's like this bag is really aimed at that kind of market. Um, I personally do backpacking and 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 randonne like um, hiking in the mountains. Uh, in the Pyrenees, so I find that this bag is adequate, but it's actually designed for traveling, basically. Um, traditional traveling in like, yeah, planes, etc. Um, so this this is quite useful, um, this handle here. I, I find that quite interesting. Um, what's also really cool, which is a new feature I've noticed on a lot of decathlon bags, is that there's this zip that goes all the way from the bottom to top, which allows you to open the bag without like needing to unbuckle and like, you know, bring it up from the top and unbuckle it and everything. You can just put it down on the ground, unzip it and zip it back up. I'm just going to even try to do that with like one hand. Yep, there you go. Succeeded, I see. It's like it's it works. That's pretty cool. Um, so I find that those two things pretty handy. Uh, what else have we got? Um, there's two pockets on either side. Uh, I'm just gonna swap it this way around because I've got a bottle on. Here we go. So there's two pockets on either side. So you've got the space to put your bottle here, and then there's there's pockets on the side here. So you can open that up and then you can put a map in there. You can put whatever you want, basically. It's a very thin, probably three or four liter, um, three or four liter pocket with the zip on it. Um, and then uh, we have, uh, I'm gonna get into this pocket in a minute, this bag. <laughs> um, now, if we open her up, if we go like this uh, and then I think it opens from the top over here. There's a buckle here, which is pretty cool actually. So I've just stuffed a, I've just stuffed a pillow in it to give you a size comparison, give you an idea of how much it looks like when it's full. I'm gonna unzip that all the way around, okay? And then this is what it looks like open. So let's just take that out for a minute. So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is how much space you've got. And it really is quite large, you've really got quite a bit of space to put, you know, sleeping bag and, you know, you name it, um, computer. Um, does a 15 inch or a 12 inch computer fit here? I don't know. So just to give you an idea on size, this is a 10 inch tablet right here. And that gives you an idea of like how much space you've got on the back of the bag and how much space you've got around it. So that's 10 inch tablet and that's how much space you've got. Um, so you could, you can fit a 12 inch computer, but nothing more than that. That's not going to fit in there. Okay. I also notice you've got this uh, pocket on the back here that allows you to put like, like passports and any other sensitive uh, documents you want to fit in there. It's pretty small. On the top, we have a bar that you can remove if you wish, uh, which allows you to get um, a little bit less weight in there. But this is the only part of the bag that gives you frame and back support. 
Uh, so it's a long bar that goes in all the, all the way uh, along the spine of the bag. And then it like slots under here like this. Okay. So you can remove that, but I wouldn't if I were you. Um, because then the bag becomes very, very floppy. So let's just, uh, now we've seen what's inside. And also this is the top of the, the bag, the brain, you could say. It's like a mini brain for the bag. Um, and it's pretty small. You've only got about two liters of space on the top here. Uh, and there's a zip over here and you can put like, um, you know, a passport, um, battery bank, phone, stuff like that. It's thin items, basically, gloves. Uh, and then you've got a cord, a bungee cord on the top to put like a jacket or anything like that. Um, so that's, that's handy for quick access, but very, very small. Okay. Another thing I like about the bag is it's very neutral color. Like you can basically pair this up with whatever um, color scheme you'd like because it's just such a neutral color. It's got no, I personally have never liked the brown um, bags that Decathlon offer and I'm really quite like amazed that they're finally doing just a standard normal one color thing, which is kind of insane to finally get from them. Um, anyway, so uh, another, few pros I've noticed, um, then, by the way, this is the top of the bag from the side here. And I'll show you some videos of me walking with the bag so you can get an idea of the form, okay, the form of the bag. The last pro I've seen that is that you have quite a bit of padding on the back here, um, on, the, on the, um, the strap here, on the hip belt. The hip belt is pretty comfortable, um, which I like. Uh, it's really well padded, so that's cool. Um, it's got a sternum strap here, which is actually like useful. It's not useless. And then you've got these, uh, these like little loops here to put your thumbs in or your fingers in where you, where you can basically just hang your arms and like, like little details like that. It's just great. I find that great. Um, it's really useful. Um, and that's kind of listing most of the pros. I mean, again, it's a 40 euro bag, so you can't really complain. But there are some weird quirks about the bag I'd like to get into. So you've got this pocket on the side here that is on the hip belt, and it's just too small. As a, as a size comparison, I've got a little notebook here, which is about the size of the average uh, smartphone today. And uh, it doesn't fit. Let me show you. You can try to push that in as much as you like. It will not fit. So this is just a tiny probably like six inch long book. You know, it's like really small notebook. It's about the same size as my phone. It doesn't fit. You're not even gonna get that in. So a, a, a average smartphone does not fit in here unless it's like an iPhone 5 or something like that, an older model phone. I've also noticed that you have um, these pockets on the side here that I, I just can't see the point in this pocket. What can I put in here? It's so small. Um, I could put maybe this, you know. So yeah, we've got these pretty small pockets running along the side, and that's what it looks like when this little notebook's in here. I'm just not basically going to use that for almost anything. It's kind of useless. I cannot see the point in those pockets. Um, then we do have these spaces for the bottle, right? Now, your bottle does fit in here, but if you've got a two liter bottle, I mean, yeah, you, you can strap it down with the top one up here, so that's fine. Um, but you cannot access the bottle very easily when you're hiking. Um, you can pull this out, right? Um, but you, you, good luck trying to get it back in. I've noticed that it's pretty difficult getting that back into the pocket. Um, another couple of weird quirks. Uh, on the bottom of the bag, you've got these spaces to put, like... Uh, like a, a mat, I'll just give you an example of what I mean. Let's say you've got a mat like this that you use for sleeping on during the night or whatever. You can put it here, it will, it will fit, but they don't include any straps. So you need to include your own straps for that. I just find that a bit odd that they don't include that in this bag. Um, again, it's only 40 euros, so maybe that's why. I have noticed that the material seems fairly sturdy, but you know, just, you know, Take that with a grain of salt. A lot of Decathlon products don't have a very long lifespan in my experience. Um, 
They say that it's got a 10 year warranty on it, but I'm, you know, certain little elements of it, I'm just wondering, is that really gonna last for 10 years? Um, I don't know. So stay subscribed and find out, I guess. Um, I think these pockets are going to get damaged. Uh, I'm just, I'm being quite, you know, realistic about it. Um, now, if we swap the bag around and we see it from the back here, okay, this is where you would adjust the settings to fit your body length, your torso. This is the maximum length. It does not go any further than that. And I find for me that this is actually too, uh, it's too short. I mean, it, it just about works on the longest settings of the straps. Um, if you've got even, even longer torso than me, I'm 173 centimeters. I can't remember the length of my torso off the top of my head. Um, you know, it, it doesn't really, I'm just an average height person and like it doesn't really fit that well. It's, it's fine. It's like, okay, as long as you don't put more than 12 kilos in the bag, you're not gonna find it uncomfortable. Uh, anything over that weight limit, I would say it starts to get probably a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and I noticed on my other bags that you have more length that you can choose from. So that's a, an advantage of the other bags that the Decathlon offer is that they have an easy fit system where you just adjust it and for your torso. And this doesn't have that. It's an incredibly very basic bag. So just bear that in mind. Um, but that, that's that's fairly, that's pretty much it. Like, like I said, these pockets on the side are a bit too small. Uh, this is the most useless bag. I mean, I, I just, I'm shocked that they don't make that, you know, if you're going to have one bag that goes on your hip belt, make it big enough for the average phone. Um, because that's what we're using it for, guys. Like, seriously. Uh, you could put some little energy bars in there, and if you've got an iPhone 5, you, you'll be fine if, you're, if you've got a little, you know, a small phone. There is no, um, uh, yeah, there is no other pocket on that side. Uh, you, you might be able to fabricate one or add one on. I've got you know what, I'll show you what I've got, which could go on that. Now just to show you, as an idea, Decathlon sell these little hip belt bags that you can put on your hip belt. And already that is a lot more efficient and I can actually put like documents or a passport, phone. This is plenty big enough, but this is not included, okay? This is something I bought separately. Um, and then it just goes on the side like that. So that's something you could do uh, if you want to get more functionality at it and you'll actually get more literage uh, for your bag. So that's, I mean, it's an accessory, so it makes the bag more expensive, but I mean, it's not a lot of money. Um, and that's something I would recommend in this scenario. So that's something you could do. So that is a bit of an overview of this bag. Um, definitely subscribe for other product reviews if you find these videos helpful and informative. Uh, I basically just review on this channel other outdoor equipment like camping gear and sometimes bikepacking gear, um, hiking gear mostly, that sort of thing. So definitely subscribe for that. Uh, there's some like other, I also review quite a few Decathlon products because I've got a Decathlon store not far from me. And um, overall, I'm fairly impressed what you get with the money for this bag. Uh, it's just a couple of weird little quirks here and there, which I was, I'm just thinking like, what were the designers thinking when they were like, you know, a pocket like this, what the heck can I use this for? Um, you know, just little things like that. But then there's like these genius other things where you can access everything you want instantly just by having a zip along the entire, I mean, that's genius. That's really great. So it's just a couple of just kind of like really awesome and then randomly like odd quirks about the bag. Um, but overall, pretty good for the money. Definitely subscribe for other reviews. Uh, again, this bag is pretty lightweight, which I'm pretty impressed with for like 1.4 kilos. You get a pretty good package. Definitely stay subscribed to see how the bag functions in the future what the quality of the material and how, how long the duration of the material lasts for, uh, because I will be testing out this bag for like backpacking and overnight trips and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, subscribe and all that stuff that you do on YouTube. Um, and yeah, that's it.